A very good morning to you. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1 says, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. In these difficult times of the coronavirus pandemic, it's so easy to get fearful and concerned. We often feel perplexed by the authorities and government wondering what will happen next. Will there be a resurge of infections? Will it touch us as the economy and society are freed from the restrictions? In addition, a few days ago, we were left wondering if the corrupt section of the governing party was going to kick out President Ramaphosa and take over. So much talk about getting rid of corruption, but so little action. All in all, it is so easy to become fearful in a very negative way, so much so that it affects our health. But, however, the words fear not are used at least 365 times in the Bible, according to Google. It is also the most used command in the Bible, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament. There is no wonder because fear attacks our faith and our hope. In addition, John in his first letter, chapter 4, verse 18, writes, There is no fear in love because perfect love drives out fear. The person who fears is not made perfect in love. So yes, fear is something we Christians need to drive out of our minds and our spirits by focusing on faith, hope and love through the power of the Holy Spirit. I came across this incisive message many years ago. The piece of paper on which it is written is crumpled and brown, as though it has had black tea poured over it. Doubt sees the obstacles. Faith sees the way. Doubt sees the darkest night. Faith sees the day. Doubt dreads the next step. Faith soars on high. Doubt whispers, who believes? Faith whispers, I. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, help us to banish all fear from our minds and our spirits. Help us so to trust in your love and your power that fear has no place to rule in our lives. Grant that through faith and trust, hope may reign in our lives and that as a result, our love for you and our love for our fellow human beings may cause us to be victorious over all fear. We pray that in Christ we may conquer all the evil one's efforts to make us fearful. This we ask in the strong and powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Go now in faith, in hope, and in love, to banish all fear from your life, and to help others to do the same. Amen. God sent His Son, they called Him. Savior